Okay, menopausal mamas, I have some very exciting news. I'm certified by the American Board of Obstetrics and Gynecology, and one of the things we do each year to maintain our certification is review articles and answer questions about them. I do it every year. As someone who focuses in menopause care, it's been a bit of a disappointment to me that over the last few years, there's been little to no research or articles presented to us for our certification covering anything to do with menopause. Of the 100 articles that are presented to us, two this year, two are having to do with menopause. No, it doesn't seem like much, but this is huge for us. Buried in office practice, which is fine. Okay, and so they have so one on elder abuse article, and women's health. On so elder that's abuse, kind of very, very important. important. Menopausal hormone therapy with breast cancer incidents, looking at the WHI data again, which has been disproven. And then, of course, this is the most important one, and I'll go over this with you guys. Menopause transition and cardiovascular disease risk, implications for timing of early prevention. This is from the American Heart Association. You guys, this is huge. Let me break down this article for you. This is from the journal called Circulation. They discussed that women have sex-specific hormone changes, hello, menopause, as well as adverse alterations in body composition, hello, visceral and belly fat, and that these changes happen through the menopause transition, and that these changes will increase her risk of cardiovascular disease and death in postmenopause. That the menopause transition is a time of increasing acceleration of cardiovascular disease risk. They also recognize that the menopause transition is a critical time for implementing risk disease prevention strategies. And if you miss that window of opportunity, you are doing a disservice to the patient. Remember that cardiovascular disease is the leading cause of death in women. They report very clear findings that the younger you are when you go through the menopause transition, the more likely you are to have cardiovascular disease and possibly death a reverse association between age of menopause and risk of cardiovascular disease. I need some coffee. I'm looking at women who started menopausal hormone therapy between the ages of 50 and 59 versus those who did not, all cause mortality decreased by 31%. The same group of women on menopausal hormone therapy also had a mortality from cardiovascular risk decrease of at least 30%, possibly up to 48%. Now I knew about this study, and this is something I discuss with my patients in our menopausal visits every single day. If your doctor is not willing to discuss menopausal hormone therapy with you and you're a good candidate, please print out this article and take it to their office.